Hello everyone, welcome to Newbie the Lego Studios. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a Lego bow that works with real bionicle arrows. And yeah, and a thing for storing the the arrows and yeah, how to make the arrows too. And let's start. The first thing we need is a elastic string, and it must be elastic or the arrow or the bow I mean won't work and yeah you can just buy something cheap from a dollar store a Chinese store or whatever you find it now we're gonna go on with the with how to make the basic form for the bow and here we have the bow without the string and things we need is And that's the materials you have to have for making just the bow as I have done it. But you can always like improve or you, instead of using one of these you can use, I don't know, you can use, you know, the... And yeah, maybe instead of using one of these you can use like the, the Buruk thing, you know, that the Buruk teeth, I don't know what they call it, it's just that. Or you just a uh, round, a fully round one. And yeah, but I mean, that's how I did it and you can always like do it another way so I'm gonna start building it so And there we have it. So, I see, pretty nice. And now it's time for a string. And one thing I want, I'm gonna do first is to weather it to make it brown and make it look old because the bow is gonna be for for the lona, you know, that lives in the jungle. And yeah, it's gonna be like dirty and yeah, gonna look very used and dirty. So, let's start. And for weathering the string, I'm gonna use a kiwi shoe cream in dark brown. I mean, it's Spanish here, but it's dark brown. And this is the same brand that Cosplay Chris uses. And I'm gonna use uh, toilet paper. And yeah guys, there we have it. It really got, got nice as you said. Yeah, it really got nice. So now it's time to cut this and you have to leave a little bit of space here so at the ends so you know when you tie the knot it doesn't get out and and so it gets and don't leave too much space for the or it will be like too wingly and it won't get that it won't get that um, it won't get that you know strong and and it will not shoot as good as can you have to have to leave it a little very tight actually so it shoots really well and yeah I think I just have to cut the half of this I have to cut something like this cut Yeah, just something like this. And here we have it. And yeah, this got white, so I'm gonna wear it a bit. So, and yeah, and then with the and then with the string that's been over, 
that's been and with string that's been left over, I gotta show you how to make a a thing for storing the the arrows in the loaner. And and now I'm gonna sh tie the knot here, and you just have to get in in here. And it's best to begin with one side, one side cut. And yeah, then you can take it in here so it doesn't get too much. Yeah, you have to really. So, you have to really like, get it tight and nice. And here we have it, guys, the arrow. And one important thing is to get this really, really tight so when you shoot the arrow, it really shoots the thing with force. And yeah, as you see, the arrows are really easy to make as I made them, but you can always like, you know, make your own design. And this one is number eight. And I really recommend to use a really long of this. So it really shoots with strength. Because if it's longer, you have to take the string more back and it will shoot longer so that's the thing and here you see how to do them if you want to build them as I do and yeah now I'm gonna weather this thing so it looks old and scratch and I think I'm gonna do it in a metallic color so as I and I think I'm gonna wear it in a metallic color with the acrylic Silver here I have, and I'm gonna wear it with the, and I think I'm gonna wear it with the, uh, with a silver, with a metallic, so it looks like more metallic, and I'm gonna also wear like the arrows too. So. And yeah guys, here we have the arrow, that it's complete now, and yeah, and yeah, as you see, it really looks nice, I'm gonna take a photo, I think, cause I think the camera doesn't capture, you know, the things i done now, very well, you see, I mean, I really hate the thing that when you do a photo sometimes, or when you take it, take a video of it, it doesn't look that nice as it, as it looks in real life. But I swear, it looks really, really nice. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a photo now. And now I'm gonna show you how to put the bow in the Toa's hand or the Bowonicle's hand. And here we have the bow. We just take apart this ones. We we'll take the red ones here. And yeah, set it in here. And and in here. We just put it like this. And yeah, there we have it, the bow, and I'm gonna take one of this, you can take it like this here, and just begin.
begin just begin to just to play around with it and you can just set it like this like he's ready to shoot a bow and arrow as you see and that's how you put the bow in the hand and now he's ready for battle and yeah I really like it and yeah that's how you put that thing into the bow into the figure and for storing the the bow with the figure you can just put it like this and then over here and then like this way and ah, there we have it you can just put it like this or you can have it like this here And yeah, so that's pretty nice. And now I'm gonna show you how to store the the arrows. So you can take the some that just the leftovers of the making the bow, and you can just take it like this. Maybe you have to cut it a bit. Maybe you have to cut it a little bit, but that's okay. And you just make a knot here. And so, like, there we have it, and you have, if you want to make it this real nice, you have to maybe cut it, or maybe if you want to left it like this, you can maybe do a second round here, and yeah, maybe put it somewhere, I'm gonna put them here, I don't know actually, yeah, something like this, no, I'm gonna actually put it, let it here, and you just do something like this, and just put the arrows here and yeah I think I'm gonna set in all the ones I have done here we have it yeah, and then you maybe set it a little bit more to the side or to the left or whatever. And yeah, I'm gonna set them nice first. Add this a little bit in here. And then this is. Uh, yeah, that's nice. And that's how it looks. And then you can just put the arrow, the bow, like this. Uh, wait. Uh, so and yeah that's how it looks hey we're back here back with the arrows wait I'm gonna show you how it looks without the bow it looks like this without the bow and yes looks pretty nice actually if the best thing I think is to put it like a round like a round form if you can of course and the good thing is that this thing won't fall off because this is a little bit thicker than you know the this thing so it won't fall off that easily maybe maybe by this side but no either either it fall that easy so so it really get nice and yeah, he really looks amazing. And now I'm gonna show a pair of photos of him. And yeah guys, that's everything I have to show for today. 
it's a really easy bow to make and it really looks nice and cool and you know maybe for the thing that holds the arrows maybe you can do maybe you could find out something you know more cool like a some other thing to store it like you know like the Legolas thing he have in the Lord of the Ring movie and yeah something like that you know I don't know what they're called they have a specific name but I don't know what they're called you know these like round things they have for the arrows but I mean yeah that's nice but I really like how this came out for the loner and yeah I will do a video of him because I, as you see, I have modified him. If you compare with the with the old uh, mock video, I have changed him. So it's time to do a uh, the loner 2.0. And yeah, that's gonna be the next video. I maybe post it tomorrow or Monday. No, yeah, on Monday. And I will also upload a scene of the Return of the Toba series. I will upload a scene, a link it scene soon and or maybe I do the first episode, I don't know. But something of the Return of the Toa is coming out soon and you know, he's the main character. So it will be nice and great. Hope you have, hope the video inspired you, hope you have a nice weekend and yeah, see you in the next video guys, bye bye.